Yo, what is good, guys? And I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I be waiting to drop a vid, man. Like, I could be dropping vids like every day or every week, but I be waiting because with Ye, there's new news like every week. Like, we get some like out of the blue news like every two weeks, right? And the latest news slash latest buzz, whatever the fuck you wanna call it, is that Ye is working on a new project. Now, I don't know if this shit is V3, Fortress 3, or like his new Ye solo album. Like, I have no fucking idea. But on September 3rd, the CEO of Channel Candy, it's the event organizer that work with Ye, with all the listening parties and whatnot, they hinted at the possibility of new music in the works and this revelation comes on the heels of Ye's electrifying fucking concert in South Korea. If you guys were there, if any of you guys of my subs are from South Korea or you guys watched the live stream, um, it was insane. He delivered a massive 74 song set and it left the fans of South Korea going fucking crazy. And according to Channel Candy, Ye was deeply affected by the concert's overwhelming reception and he's looking to actually channel that energy and put it into this next project and this upcoming album is expected to bear the influence from that performance promising a unique sound man and honestly i'm excited i wouldn't mind vultures 3 but i do want a solo album from Ye. like i do like if we could get like another classic like Ye, like we're in for a treat man we're in for a fucking treat fans could also look forward to an experience that goes beyond just listening to new tracks and with Ye's penchant for like pushing boundaries this new album could be paired with like a set of listening parties like he's always done in the past um and man these listening parties are really designed to capture that like level of excitement and connection similar to how he achieved in south korea and given the mixed reception of v1 and v2 this new project could be a crucial moment for ye to really reconnect with a broader audience while also staying true to this new modern experimental um, look that he has on his current music what's honestly particularly exciting about the potential album is that it honestly seems to be moving in a different direction like i said i don't know if it's a solo album but i wouldn't have minded it um, Ye explored these eras with Ty Dolla Sign on the Vultures projects and while those albums have resonated with the core Ye community, they really haven't landed well with the wider public like, you know, I'm out and I'm at work or whatever and I'm asking people how do they feel about Vultures 1, Vultures 2 and they're not really fucking with it. like the casual fan are not fans of the Vultures trilogy so far, so far. Um, a solo album would offer a fresh canvas for Ye to experiment, explore, and honestly return to a more distinctive and personal sound. And fans who have been craving something different from the Vultures vibe might finally get what they've been waiting for. Now Ye and Ty Dolla Sign are cooking up because they are set to bring their Vultures listening party to China bruh. To fucking China and it's set to be hosted on september 15th and this event was a little hot topic you know i mean there was rumors swirling before the official announcement was even made and the choice of china for the listening party is particularly notable because the last time ye was there was during his glow in the dark tour in 08 bro so it's been like over 10 years and it also carries a personal significance for ye as his first visit to china dates back all the way to his childhood when his mother Don the West um, worked as a university teacher um, at Nanjing University so and if you know Ye, Ye's been you know to like Asia um, you know all these types of like places over the last two years so this is at this point Vulture's listening party they're a world tour like we need the world tour like take my money instantly Ye please we need the world tour do it for the kids now as we look ahead to the next chapter in this Ye era um, a new album inspired by the success of the recent South Korean performance could be just what Ye actually fucking needs to shake things up again as if he just did it with Carnival. Um, and, but also to really reclaim his position as a creative force in the music world. Not saying he lost or anything like that, but like, you know, a, a Ye solo album could do a lot of damage, man. It could do a lot of damage. 
Um, whether this project will follow the ambitious rollout we've seen before or offer something entirely new, one thing is certain is that Ye remains one of the most unpredictable artists and the most innovative of our time. And for his fans, that's really what makes this shit actually intriguing. Um, I can't wait. Um, the listening party is set for a few days. Um, you know, around that time, that's when we get news and that's when things pop off. So, will we give Orchis 3? Or are we gonna get what what they call it? Uh, there was like a rumor going around that they called it Yesuke. I don't fucking know. Um, let me know what you guys think. Um, you know, are you guys looking forward to it? Um, let me know your thoughts and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.